in the trenches with Ryan Roxy. Bigfoot being sort of the front men of all phenomenon. Um, our second hot topic has to do with a uh, quote that uh, Mr. Phil Collin from Def Leppard had said uh, earlier this week from Blabbermouth, the good people at Blabbermouth, saying, uh, uh, what's up with all the uh, newer bands? They are lacking star power. Basically, here's his whole quote, and you can tell me if you agree, disagree with Phil, um, because where have all the front men gone? Phil's quote was, Metallica's great. When you see him, there's a big difference. Phil said, Guns N' Roses are awesome. I don't see that anymore in the new bands. I don't see that star power. I don't see that kind of thing. So that's what I'm waiting for. Do you believe that there is a lack of front men in the business? Because you have such a special front man in Josh Todd with Buck Cherry. He, I, I feel that he's like one of the most entertaining. Uh, he's, yeah. he's got the whole package, the whole performance thing. Um, oh, yeah. You've worked with some great front men over the years. Yep. Yep. What do you think about today's front men? Um, well, I think for starters, I think there's less young rock bands. Overall. So if he's, is he just talking rock or does he mean overall? I think I Phil Collin was talking more about the newer rock bands that are out. Rock oh, bands all, in general. All I can really, really think of is, um, um, What's a kid, Luke from uh, the Struts? People love him, but he is very much Freddie Mercury incarnate visually. So yeah, he has yeah. definitely, which whatever, we all have our influences. Fine. Yeah, I mean, um, in, in, in that sense, Axl Rose was Janis Joplin incarnate in, to, to, a certain, to a certain degree. Sure. Or Axl Merman. <laughs> that's true too that's true um, too no but you're absolutely right that guy when he came out everybody was like what the fuck i agree um also um what's the other um what's the other mm -hmm. kid and now of course he's he's channeling robert plant greta van fleet the lead singer um, of greta van fleet yeah yeah and and i mean those whom they say really... that they've never really gotten into and listened to but uh, okay well right. i'm gonna call bullshit on that but I don't, but hey, we all have our influences. I mean, if they're afraid Zeppelin's going to sue them, Zeppelin's got enough money. They're not going to sue them. Just admit you love fucking Led Zeppelin, okay? That's that's all I'm asking. You don't have to lie about everything. Um, but I mean, and, and here's the thing. Phil does not want to come across sounding like an old guy. He goes, he hadn't said that in the, in, the, in the interview. He said, look, I don't want to come across as one of those crotchety old guys. I'm just waiting for something new to happen. And it's my belief that, there's something new that has happened, but because we are sort of older crotchety guys, don't know. it's happened. It's happening without our knowledge. And and I can think of a couple. Oh, lay them on me. Who you got? Okay. I'll, 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 I'll I will lay them on you. Although, you know, Jeff Leopard's Phil Collin thinks TikTok and YouTube crowd is a problem. Wait a second. I don't have a problem with our YouTube crowd. In fact, I have no problem at all. So much so that I want you to hit a like on our video right now and hit the subscribe button. And we even have a TikTok um, channel that, of course, uh, we are trying to promote. But you know what? I am a little bit old school. I can uh, sort of we are. be un unbeknownst of bands are happening. But there's a few that have stuck out to me, and I'll lay it on them. You can agree with me or not agree with me. A band that's making a lot, a lot of waves now is the band Manskin. Uh, Damiano David from the band Man Manskin. Um, do we have a picture of him, Vic? What oh, would yeah, you say? They're, that, they're the Euro guys, right? Of course. They're, they're the Eurovision winners, but there's uh, Damiano David right there. There you go. What do you if think? I, if I looked real quick, I would just go Marilyn Manson. Or Perry Farrell. Maybe it has a little bit of a Perry Farrell There vibe. you go. There you go. That's a good so, one, too. And it's okay to be derivative as long as you put enough of your own personality into it. And then that's just pure, you know, that's just pure glam cover model. I love it. Uh, I don't and I know feel the songs. That, How are their songs? That's my problem with a lot of these bands look great, but they don't have any fucking songs. Well, I, I, Manskin's got a lot of songs that people are okay. digging. Younger I, people are, are, are on it. I, I they need, have a little bit of yeah, take a, take a dash of Chili Peppers, take a dash of Jane's Addiction, and take a dash of just, like, you know, their own style as well. Make it your own. Um, here's another artist. Out. Here's another artist that I'll lay on you, and you tell me if you think it's a, it uh, 
the great front man or not. Um, it's young blood from the UK. Oh, young blood. Of course. I was, I was trying to think of him. I just okay. recently discovered him. That guy's a fucking rock star. There you go. But, See? but he's more of a pop star than a rock star. So I think that is where the lines are getting blurred. There's not as much rock as there is pop. So yeah. some of these guys back in our day would have been rock guys, but now are like, because maybe of TikTok and YouTube, they're yeah. going a more solo artist route as opposed to a band route. But yeah, that well, guy do, for sure. But you do have to understand that at one point in his career, Alice Cooper was considered a pop star. Of course, he's always he was. been a rock star, but he was, he, but he got to that level where he was a pop star. Stars. Yeah, what we are is what we are. I know that song as a little kid. I remember, I love that song. I didn't know that was Alice Cooper until, yeah, there, there's me and uh, the Frankencoop. Frankencoop, I know. There it is. And it was a good version of you singing, uh, uh, what was that song? Who we are, are is what we are. You and me, you and me. There you go. You we got to do that I love song. that song. That, fucking, that is a great fucking song. All right. Yes, we'll he was on. considered a pop star. I remember seeing him on TV and asking my mom, what's that? <laughs> And she would go, oh, that's Alice Cooper. And I'm like, that's a dude, right? And she goes, yeah, I'm on. Okay. I also thought Dinos Dinosaur's name was Dinosaur. She's like, oh, I'm going to watch Dinosaur. <laughs> Dinosaur. I'm like, I love dinosaurs. And she's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, here we go. I'm going to move on the list with uh, some front men. You tell me, uh, rock star, new rock stars, uh, are they pushing it to the next level? Are they carrying the torch so to speak because you know at some point i want uh, phil because again phil maybe doesn't know about all these names that we're mentioning if he does know about some of them maybe he can has he can pipe in and have his own uh get him opinion on about it as well what do you think about machine gun kelly front man um here's um you know i liked him as tommy lee okay. on the on the dirt movie um i don't know I think he's more of a pop. He's kind of pop. I think he's just, I don't know enough about him, but I feel like he's just trying to ride the wave of popularity, and which is, you know, fine. I, I, I looking rock I star. I think Vic's trying to desperately find a picture of Machine Gun Kelly because I sent him one, or I actually sent him a note to, hey, where are you doing? He's shaking his head at me I'm, going, this fucking sure. guy. Wait a second. I'm not sure about him. All right, don't sure. worry about it, Vic. That time sure. is that that ship has sailed. Oh, you can't put it up now. Oh, oh. he did it. There well, you go. I'll give him props. He's got a guitar. That's, that's true. He does got a good guitar. And he has a female guitar player as well in his band. Well, there you go. There you uh, go. So there you go. So now uh, Machine Gun Kelly's got a female guitar player. And you know what? Demi Lovato's got a female guitar player in the band. I heard. Got our I, female I, I, guitar player. How about that? I heard a rumor. I saw, I saw. <laughs> you saw a rumor? Well, you know what? You're going to be seeing us out on the road in just a, about a month or two. And we're wishing Nita nothing but the best with Demi Lovato. I know the tour is kicking off uh, this weekend. So good luck to you. Have a great Demi show. Have a great Demi tour. And, kick uh, ass, Nita. Kick we ass, definitely. No, you will. And, she's, a, she's a kick ass chick. And you're having um, some great shows over the weekend as well. Um, yep. And we're going to be out there in just a, a, about a month. Well, less than a month, actually, with uh, Mr. Kane Roberts uh, behind the guitar. Yep, what do you think about I can't that? wait. Is Kane I'm Roberts a, a pop star? Is he a front man? <laughs> he's, he could be. Uh, he's not, not 2022, he's got the, dude. He, he's we're got talking only 2022. New guys. And Kane's from the old school. He's from us. He's, from, he's from us dinosaurs. Dino, dino, dino <laughs> dinosaurs. <laughs> That would be a good name of a rock band, a collective of us guys. We're the Dinosaurs. I like it. I like that. I like that better than what was the other one you came up with earlier? Uh, a flaming umlaut. Flaming umlaut. Well, you know what? We we need an opener as well. All right, I'll go with a couple bands. Here's here's a band that um, we toured with a little bit in um, in Europe just just recently with Alice Cooper, uh, the lead singer of Dirty Honey. Great rock and roll band, Mark LaBelle. You know who he is? Maybe we I, have a picture I, I of do. him. I I I know I know a little bit. I I don't. Um, I'm not familiar with a lot of their tunes. Um, okay. I, I think Gotta I met those guys in Nashville at um, 
black shag vintage they were in there and i said hey to them and they seem like nice kids um All i right, don't well, know what, i need to go do a little more research i think i've seen like one video he seems like he's definitely uh flying the flag of rock and roll though okay sure. there you go okay i like give that a thumbs up it look like rock and rollers Okay, so so that'll be another name that we send on over to Phil in his uh, tweets, in his Twitter. I don't even think he has Twitter, but if he does, then maybe somebody from our uh, great, dedicated, uh, in the trenches uh, chat will send a word of Phil that we talked about it. And we we'll gave him, him some list. suggestions of people. Um, the last one that I have of the list on the list, and maybe it'll inspire you to think of someone else, uh, is uh, Remington Leith from Palais Royale. You know that band? Oh, I do know that band. Are they also UK, right? Nope. They're actually Vegas. They're actually from Las Vegas, but they look Are you killer. shitting me? Look at wow. that. Now, that's not Rockstar? That's not that Rockstar? That is a Rockstar. Okay. That is Frontman uh, right away. That is Frontman. Riddle me this. How are the songs? <laughs> songs are good. I like okay. it. I, I do All like right. them. You know? Here's it. He have... looks like a Rockstar. If the songs are good, I give him Rockstar a thumbs up. And my apologies uh, for those of you that go, but what about the women? What about the front women? This question was merely in, in, uh, inspired from well, the, with the, the front men, all right? I was going to so, say there are, there are some new school rocker girls out there, too. Absolutely. Uh, you know, lead yeah. singer of Flush, Mariah, bringing yep. it every single night. Um, yeah. There's another band called Star, well, Starcrawler. I don't know if you yep. know Starcrawler. Yep. One of my I do. favorites. Of course I do. Of course I do. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we will give. So, we will so give maybe, the maybe the credit. women, maybe the women are creeping in on the men when it comes because those those girls are playing rock. Just like we talked about with Kane Roberts last week, maybe the women are actually uh, kicking our ass right now. Maybe so they got we gotta step fucking, up. Maybe they got bigger <laughs> hoo-hoos than the dude. <laughs> <laughs> Stepping up, though, I, I feel that Remington, Mark, Youngblood, Machine Gun, uh, Damiano, David, uh, you know what? You're going to be on our list that we send over to Phil Collin. And you know what? He's going to appreciate that list, I feel. In, in a I perfect think world, he should. he'll appreciate it and he'll say, you know what, mate? I will be on your podcast. He, we, he was on stage with us. He came up and jammed a uh, Goon Squad show with us where we do that uh, sort oh, of yeah. when we're, we're on tour with Alice Cooper, we do sort of a side thing where uh, Glenn Sobel and uh, Tommy and Chuck and myself go and we do the international set list. He was, just happened to be in town in, uh, of all places, Birmingham, Alabama. And wow. uh, yeah, and uh, he came up to the club right there and um, – played a couple songs with us. I think we played uh, 20th Century Boy, and it was Phil, good. Phil, if you're listening, come on the show. I'm Ryan Roxy, and I've taken all my years of experience of playing guitar, and I want to pass the torch of rock and roll on to you. Check out the System 12 Guitar Method. about the meat.